Hello students, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Now the question is, a step up transformer converts a low voltage into high voltage. Does it violate the principle of conservation of energy? So the problem is based on the topic transformer. And in the particular transformer, the question is asked whether the principle of conservation of energy is violated or not. So in a transformer, we know that there is a primary side. There is a core and there is a secondary side. In primary side, there are certain number of turns. For example, these are n sub p. And in the secondary side, the number of turns are n sub s. The voltage across the primary is v sub p. And the voltage across the secondary side is v sub s. The current applied to the input side that is the primary side is I sub P and the current obtained at the load side is I sub S. Then according to the principle of the transformer, according to the working of the transformer, the power, the input power is equal to V sub P into I sub P. That is the primary voltage multiplied by the primary current. Similarly, the output power is V sub S into I sub S. So according to the principle of conservation of energy, PI is equal to PO. The powers are same at the input and output side. If the losses are not there, if we do not consider the losses, then the powers are same. So it means that uh, if the voltage is step up, for example, at the output side, the voltage is step up as compared to the input voltage, then correspondingly, the IS go down, the secondary current goes down. It means that the product of the voltage and current remains constant. The product of the voltage and current remains constant. Whether the voltage is stepping up or down, it does not matter. In a step down transformer, the voltage goes down. In a step up transformer, the voltage goes up. Correspondingly, the current compensates it. So for example, there is a step up transformer. So step up transformer, the secondary side, the voltage is going up. So correspondingly, the current is less as compared to the primary current at the secondary side. The secondary current is less as compared to the primary current. So that this product remains constant. So this is the explanation of this particular problem.